and the Cross River State Government has debunked rumors surrounding the death of a member of State House of Assembly, Godwin Akwaji. There were reports that Akwaji died from COVID-19 related issues in an isolation center. However, at a press conference held in Calabar, the state capital on Tuesday, the State Commissioner for Health, Beta Edu, said the late Akwaji was not COVID-19 positive as many suspected him to be. To talk more on this controversy, we have the Commissioner for Health in Cross River State, Dr. Beta Edu, to shed light on this development. Good morning, Commissioner. Good morning, dear. Thank you for, thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us. Um, is this a case of the family not willing to disclose the cause of the death of the lawmaker, or the state remains free of COVID-19 uh, disease? Okay, so um, basically, I think the family, as at um, day before yesterday, has issued a formal press release and has told the world that their um, father and relative um, has not or did not show any sign of COVID-19 before his death. Um, I think I was called upon as the Commissioner for Health um, basically two or three hours before um, his death. And I did all I could within my might to see that he receives the best of care um, in spite of um, all what uh, the ARG strike and other issues which were on ground. Um, the Koshiba State government has lost a great, great son of Koshiba State. And we so, so sincerely condole um, with the family. We stand with them and we mourn with them. This is a personal loss to the governor of Koshiba State as um, the person in question is from his own um, community um, and from his own local government. So this is his brother, and we mourn with them. Um, we also have taken our time out to clear the air and follow the events as they've unfolded one after the other. Um, it's just unfortunate that um, we have individuals who hide under the cover of an organization, a platform which you've been given to bring up serial things which are not true, which are not correct, just because you have a platform and you believe you can express yourself and um, actually um, misguide um, the public. It's, it's a serial thing that has happened from one particular person going out every day on air. If the government of Kosovo State says we need to take this step today, the next minute, he goes out to give a press release to say, oh, look, you're not doing the right thing. Honorable Commissioner, if said, I may interject you, uh, if I may interject you, now, the NMA and other medical bodies have invited the NCDC to come and investigate the existence of the disease in the state, you know. They complain that the state government is endangering the lives of people and living in self-denial. To this effect, can you confirm to us whether there is an existence of COVID-19 in Cross River State? Okay, so I'm saying that the um, Dr. Ayuk should speak for himself and not necessarily for enemy or for other health bodies. We've had the head of the nursing and the nursing association come to my office to pay us a visit and say very clearly that Koshiba State has done well. They're impressed with our response and they're working with us. The pharmaceutical um, um, body too have done the same thing. So enemy or Dr. Ayuk should speak for himself and not for everyone else. We want to make this very clear. It's become very obvious to cross Riverians that every step of the way that the government has gone, they have come out with a press release. As early as, uh, very early in this whole fight um, on the COVID-19 fight, we had them come out to say, look, um, we should not mislead the public, that the face mask does not give any protection against the disease and all of that. It took eight weeks for the president, um, of course, um, and of course, NCDC and the rest of them to say, everybody should adopt the no max, no movement, which started in Cross River State. We had an instance where we say workers should go back to work because we're not only trying to protect lives, but we want to protect livelihood. Are you going to tell me that people should sit at home, they shouldn't work? We ask them to go back. They should keep to all the measures as they go back to work. They released the press release immediately, stating that um, we are putting people's lives at risk by asking them to go back to work and all of that. And we said, look, if you understand public health, public health is not clinical medicine. It's not sitting in a, a room and consulting. It's public health. Public health and the determinants of health. 
it's not only disease, drugs, treatment. No, it includes the economy. It includes the social life. It includes... All right. I'm not sure whether you have responded to my first question because I lost you there when I said if you could confirm that, you know, uh, there is uh, uh, COVID-19 in the state or no COVID-19 in the state. I mean, what do you have to say? NCDC latest, uh, uh, latest uh, reports or kind of, um, you know, as whatever they said is that it's insisting that no state is free of COVID-19. Is that true of Cross River? Okay, so I'll state this and state this very clearly. Cross River State does not have any confirmed case of COVID-19 as at now. However, we've continued to tell people to take responsibility and people should do what is right. They should stick to all the measures that have been put in place both by NCDC and every other state, including Cross River State, to ensure that we keep our people safe and good. Mm -hmm. What I was trying to say earlier on, if you can get me clearly now, yeah, is has. the fact that is the fact that for every step which the government has tried to take, NMA um, or Dr. Ayuk using the NMA platform would come out and release a press statement. Even when NCDC and the Federal Ministry of Health paid a visit to the state and said they have done very well. This was not the picture which was presented to them in Abuja by NMA and the rest of them. They came in, saw isolation center that can carry up to 130 persons. They saw ventilators in their numbers, respirators, oxygen concentrators, name it. Um, people that have been trained health personnel, both clinical and non-clinical, about 400 persons and over have been trained. They saw all of this on ground and they said, this is not the picture we got where while we were there in abuja the next day after nma and the dg of uh, sorry the next day after the dg of ncdc said cross river state has done very well he came out immediately immediately to release another press statement just to counter whatever is being said i think it's time that rather than antagonize every step of government you take your time to sit back and say how can you be of help as a person as an association how can you be of help to the cost of the state government to see that we can prevent cases? Like I've said before this time, COVID-19 is like pregnancy. It doesn't hide. And we are not afraid of recording any case of COVID-19 in our state. Mm -hmm. We've had enough time to prepare for COVID-19. We've had enough time to train over 400 workers, get our isolation centers ready, get our treatment protocol ready, get our PPEs and the rest of it all ready. So we're not afraid to record any case. Right. And I, we I don't want people that. going about putting fear in the hearts of Koshiverians and trying to cause panic where such does not exist. Right. I'd like to just quickly end by showing this data. We have the data for all the government hospitals in Cross River State, primary health care centers, community data, and the general hospital comparing January to May mm -hmm. for, primary, uh, for um, all the government hospitals for the number of deaths that have occurred in these facilities. And it would um, be very clear to state at this point that comparing 2018, 2019, and 2020, 2020 has the least number of mortality amongst these three. So it's very unfair and really very wrong for people to come to public, try to create a picture that people are dying massively and um, NCD should... In, in fact, I think he doesn't even understand the health system well, in Nigeria Honorable because Commissioner, if he does, afraid... he would know that health is on the concurrent list and not on the exclusive list. All right. Thank you so very much for coming to clarify the issues uh, for the public, for the general public. We appreciate your time, Honorable Eta, for coming on the show. Do stay safe out there.